Yo, what's going on guys? Bot Mentality here with another Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum and kind of Bitcoin Cash chart analysis for you. And so pretty much today it is, uh, what is today? May 13th? Yeah, May 13th of 2018. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, so a couple things I really want to focus on here regarding uh, some of my thoughts on the current market movements and how I think that's significant, especially if you're looking to trade the short term and capitalize on these discrepancies, these discrepancies in, uh, let's say, momentum, right? In the range of the move so we'll go ahead and jump into it so right now in general the market sentiment that what i'm looking at is people are excited about consensus i'm sure you know the consensus meeting is may 14th to may 16th so it should be starting tomorrow and i th i think the general idea that everyone has is that this is going to cause a surge in the market will it do that i don't know but what i can tell you is what i'm focused on is where the money is so as a result i'm going to look at I'm going to look at the level two. I'm going to look for any abnormalities on as far as any discrepancies, any differences in the level two action. Are there going to be more people flashing bids on the on the on the bid? Right. Are there going to be is there going to be more stronger buying pressure? Are we going to see a change in volume? All these things I'm going to be looking at to see if I can find a sort of edge, a difference in the price action that's been happening prior to now. And that's going to be happening going into consensus because that is a potential opportunity to take advantage of. So keep that in mind, guys. Is it going to be bullish? Are we going to see a rocket ship? I don't know. Are we going to see the opposite? I don't know. If what what could happen? Let's say it, we everyone's thinking we're going to shoot up and we don't. Will we see people starting to kind of panic and take off their positions betting on this, right? Will we see the opposite direction occur? Those are the sort of questions I'm asking myself. And those are the th sort of things, if I were you, I would look into um, analyzing to look to see if there's something you could, you could capitalize on there outside of, you know, hey, everyone says we're going up, so we're going to go up all in, right? So definitely don't do that. So make sure you're, 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 you're respecting your stops, respecting risk, and you're taking that in consideration. But let's go ahead and move forward. Let's talk about this price action here. So first thing you'll see is I'm on the hourly here on Bitcoin. Now, I've drawn this box here. What I'm measuring is the move from the recent low, right? Uh, the low, the recent low right here on the bottom. Actually, let me change the color there for you. I know it's I like to stick to purple, but this might make it a little easier for you guys to see. So, oh, my, I apologize there. That is my phone going off. All right. So, uh, what I want to go ahead and uh, I'm in that one take lifestyle, right? So, what I'm looking at here is this this recent low down here. Okay, I'm comparing that to the most recent high, which is here, and I want to look at the percentage to see how far have multi have different coins moved from that price level, right? So, on Bitcoin, it's you know 5.2 percent right around there. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's compare that to Ethereum with the same move, right? Ethereum's at 10.65%. Let's compare that to Litecoin of the same move, 7.55%. Let's compare that with Bitcoin Cash of that same move, right? Uh, we're looking at 15.53%. So when you look at this, you see that uh, so far Bitcoin Cash has removed has, has moved the furthest overall. However, Bitcoin Cash has not quite broken over its previous high that we had here from that first bounce, okay? So let's go back through them. Bitcoin Cash hasn't broken out of there yet. Litecoin hasn't broken out over that high yet. Um, Ethereum has rocketed over that high. Keep that in mind, okay? And Bitcoin has not quite broken over that previous high yet if we're looking at uh, this one right here, right? Or you can look at this one right here, either one, which are, however you want to look at that. So what does that mean? Ethereum is, is essentially jumping the gun. Ethereum is jumping the gun on that price movement. We have a couple laggard plays that are sticking a little bit closer to Bitcoin. Even though Bitcoin Cash has moved the furthest distance overall, it's not necessarily the most bullish, especially as approaching this price sell level. So keep that in mind. You need to keep these sort of things in mind, kind of, you know, mull it over in your mind and think about, OK, what does this mean and how exactly could I capitalize on that? Those sort of questions you need to ask yourself. Me overall, I'm looking at comparing Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum and Litecoin or excuse me, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum and Bitcoin to each other multiple times a day, every day volume price action range i'm looking for those different discrepancies there i'm talking about them in the chat room other people are bringing those up and taking positions based off on that looking for an edge based on these different uh comparisons if that makes sense so consistently keep looking at these ranges taking that into consideration to see what's breaking out first which are lagging with the would it be what could a potential position be taken in those who are lagging looking for that to move up in the future but looking forward to sort of catch up to the other uh the other um the other uh coins right or is it going to stay behind is that you know stay away is that a sign of weakness so keep all those things in mind and start and start looking into these it's really too complicated to you know have one definite statement and just run off it but what you can do is you can look for you can play the probabilities 
what is more likely to happen in the future than something else? You respect your risk and those are the trades you take and that's what you want to look for um, in order to capitalize on that momentum. So that's something I want to point out for you guys is the, uh, the ratio differences between Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. So, all right. Let's talk about Ethereum. That's been the main play that, uh, that you know, everyone took in chat except for me because I missed my fill, right? I'll go ahead and I'll be the first to let you guys know that I missed my fill. And, uh, but I'll show you what I was looking at here and, um, and we can talk a little bit about it. So let's break it down. Let's go back. Let's go down to the 30 minute. Okay. So on Ethereum, the 30 minute. Let's go ahead. You can see an obvious top here at the, um, let's say, let's just say the 687 level, right? I'll go ahead and draw that there in orange. An obvious top there. Essentially what we had is if you want to look at it as, as a sort of a head and shoulders pattern, it's, it's a little bit messy, but let's just, it, it, you get to understand the, the meaning behind the uh, price action, right? So we had a bounce here, inverse head and shoulders, right? We had that bounce here. We had a lower, a lower low set, all right? And a higher low set right here and for a breakthrough. And then, so that's what we saw. We saw that conti continuation there. Now, other patterns didn't look like this. If you flip over, look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin looked pretty ugly here. It looked a little bit different. Um, instead, we saw that sort of curl, the curling lows and for a, for a breakup to touch the high. We didn't quite break above that level. But Ethereum, that's exactly what we did is we broke up through that. So we were watching that. On Bitcoin, the pattern we were watching that was different than Ethereum, Ethereum essentially kept uh, ha hammering on, you know, kept hammering on these, these, these highs right here, right? That 687 level is what Ethereum kept doing. We looked over at Bitcoin. What we were watching on Bitcoin was we were watching, get this out of the way here, the sort of equilibrium pattern that's set up. And this didn't set up the same on Ethereum. What we were looking at was this right here, okay? I'll draw it like that just to be accurate to um, what we would have known at that time. And I'm gonna draw this one here. So this is what, this is essentially what we were focused on. I would have drawn it like this, okay? So what we saw here was we saw um, these higher, these, these, you know, these uh, lower highs being put in on Bitcoin. In addition to that, we saw higher lows being put in. Now here, this is what would have shook a lot of people out if you were trading Bitcoin. If you were trading Bitcoin, that move right there, that yank, I would have absolutely stopped out on that. But I have not been trading Bitcoin, okay? I've been trading Ethereum for that. As you can see, I haven't paid for my trading view. But uh, I, would, I would pull back and it, it, you saw the push up. I would have got stopped out there when we saw this, this base and recovery there, you could have looked for a re-entry, especially if you're looking at the level two and you were the uh, order book and you were seeing the orders being coming scooped in here. I know someone actually, uh, my neighbor, he actually marketed in on this on this uh, explosion, right? This on this upward move and, and sold the rip up there. So that was an opportunity there. But I for sure, I tell you what I've got stopped out here. Now, if you're watching the Bitcoin chart and you looked at what Ethereum was doing at that time frame, we hop back over here to not the Ethereum to Bitcoin. Uh, where is it at here? Gee, did I lose it? Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Let me go ahead and pull it up here. Um, I apologize, guys. I don't know exactly where it went. It just disappeared. So Ethereum to USD here on Coinbase. So if we're looking at this, right, as you would saw, we were seeing consistent higher lows. Ethereum was a much easier chart to read, a much easier chart to play, because um, chances are you probably wouldn't have been stopped out on the same move if your risk was a little bit different. So keep that in mind. But essentially what we saw is a rip through that price action and continuate a rip through that 687 level and continuation there. So now if you're looking along Ethereum, you've a very clear area of where you'd be looking to buy. At least I would um, any sort of pullback, any sort of pullback like this, right? Somewhere in that area would be a decent buy. Now you have to keep in mind, again, Ethereum, keep in mind the consensus coming up, keep in mind the any sort of, uh, you know, FUD that might come out. You know, that always tends to happen, especially when things get bad. People tend to overreact to uh, neutral news or negative news or no news as being bad news, right? So keep that in mind when you're looking to make an entry and you're respecting your stops. But we have a very clear level of support right here. Also, you have the 700, uh, the 700 level on Ethereum, um, the, the you know a whole and half dollar mark, right? If you were to plot a line there on 700, you have that as support as well. Me personally, I'm being patient. I'm not tracing bull, any bull breaks in this market because of the fact that, uh, which is what I pointed out in a previous video. If you, especially if you look at the Bitcoin chart, essentially what we have, guys, is we have a ton of uh, a ton of overhead longs. These are bag longs, okay? There's a ton of people who bought into this, right? Calling bottom full size, and now they're looking to get out on pops. So you're gonna see resistance at levels like of previous consolidation where people bought and they're looking to get out at break even. So the people who bought right here are looking to get out at break even. So where are they gonna sell? They're gonna sell as soon as they get back to break even. And then where are they gonna sell again? As soon as they get back to break even. And so eventually there are no people, there's no more people selling at that level. We're going to move up to the next one. We're going to move up to this level right here. Okay. The same thing should probably occur and welcome to support and resistance. It's not about just knowing, okay, yeah, there was, you know, you draw the lines on the chart. That's what it is. You're look, thinking about which buyers are trapped there. 
or which sellers are short there, who's looking to get in, who's looking to get out, who's sitting cash, okay? That's what these levels represent. So always keep that in mind on the trade. But yeah, to, to kind of summarize there, guys, I am focused on, I don't know how this got deleted. Absolutely not. I am focused on the Ethereum to uh, USD ratio. I'm focused on Ethereum because of how bullish this has been. If not this, then Bitcoin Cash. And I'll also be keeping an eye on Litecoin. I know it's been lagging you know, behind a lot. But what we could see here, if we saw an explosive action on Bitcoin, potentially maybe Litecoin might uh, lag and have to catch up, right? So keep that in mind. These are all trade ideas I'm forming in my mind and I'm kind of checking up on them each and every day. And I like to feel you guys on them as well. And you might see something I might see. So if that's the case, comment it down below. Let me know. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what's going on, guys. Share some value. I love to add value to you guys in your trading. So uh, let's go ahead and move on here. I want to go ahead and wrap up this video as far as um, what I'm seeing here on, oh, well, uh, to touch up on Litecoin, guys. Uh, no, I'm not trading it. It still has a weak uh, Bitcoin to Litecoin ratio. On top of that, it hasn't broken out over this, this pattern yet and it hasn't moved as much as uh, many other coins. So I'm not trading Litecoin, I'm focused on Ethereum. But to jump over here to wrap this up with a little bit of psychology, and not really psychology, just to really talk about where we're at right now in the market and as a trader. So let me go ahead and just break this down to you guys real quick, okay? This is a bear market. So here I say, guys, I just wanna say that if you're making money in this bear market, you're a baller. Guys, this is a bear market. If you are making money, right now as a day trader as a trader in this market making consistent entries you are a baller what you're doing right now is you're honing your skills for the future let me tell you something as soon as this market turns around to a bull market and we start seeing these v-shaped bounces we start seeing the v-shaped bounces we start seeing you know the, we start throwing out trailing stops like nobody's business we're just throwing out handing out you know trailing stops like uh tasters at a sam's club right we're just throwing these things out when when this, that market happens, you start seeing those V-shaped bounces where every bounce that happens, it just gets ripped, bought right back up again because people are finally looking, got an entry into this uptrend. When you start seeing that, when you start seeing the positive news come out every single day and these coins just straight up, straight up, straight up, right? Like we saw from, like on a, you know Bitcoin heading up into uh, December 2017. When you start seeing that sort of action, you're going to realize how hard trading right now is. So if you're making money right now, great job, guys. If you're not losing money right now, great job. Part of being a trader, and I've said this multiple times on my Twitter and I've talked about it, is working from uh, not losing money to breaking even to heading towards positivity, okay? Trading is a marathon or heading towards profitability, excuse me, but positivity as well. Trading is a marathon, not a sprint. This is something you gotta stay in the game until it gets easier and then you really hit it when it's easy, control your risk and stops when it's hard. So great job guys and everybody making money. I know we've had some awesome plays in the chat. We'll continue to do that. I know a lot of people ripped uh, this Ethereum, this Ethereum equilibrium, which I missed because I, I was being greedy with the, my orders and then went to sleep, right? But it's okay. There's always gonna be more opportunities. I always tell you guys that there's always gonna be more opportunities in the future. We have a long way to go before we get back to 20,000. A long way to go. Even if we don't make it there, a long way back to 10,000, a long way back to... 15,000, et cetera, et cetera. There's gonna be a ton of opportunities in the future, so don't get FOMO. Remember to guys to continue developing your trading mentality that is your bot mentality. Remember to control your risk, eliminate your emotions, and learn to trade like a machine, guys. That's, that's me, I'm bot mentality, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you tomorrow, have a great one, guys. Deuces.